Here's a quick little video on a Hello Kitty alarm clock. As you can see, that works. Um, there is lights here if you want to turn those on. I'll shut some this down here a little bit. So if you wanted lights on, you could. I'm gonna to try to turn this down actually. Some working lights there, on off switch. Go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, the radio does work. Um, there's not really an antenna to this, so I'm not gonna lie, you there's not a lot of options as far as what comes in, or at least where I live right now. Um, but I mean, I. It does work, but I mean, got some options here on the side. So that's the tuner, AM, FM. This would pick what you want. As you can see, there is a little discoloring here and there. Display's in good shape, no cracking. I um, mean, this is the other side. So then this is where you would set the alarm. Here's the volume. Um, so you can have the alarm on, off, buzzer. Here's the back side of it. Again, this white should be kind of more of a white like that. It is kind of yellow and discolored. I didn't see any chips or cracks anywhere. Try to get really good pictures of everything. And that's kind of what the color of it should have been. Um, and then this is for a battery backup. Um, and here, I mean, um, don't have a nine volt battery to test that out, but there is no corrosion. There's no reason why that does should not work. I would, I would believe that it would work um, because everything does look good on that. There is something kind of loose inside here. I'll try to be quiet here. I don't know if you can hear that rattling. In there, so I don't know what fell. It probably fell in through this battery compartment. Uh, looking at this, as you can see, there is a little clip right here and there's not one on this side and there should be one. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what's rattling around in there, but I just want to bring that to your attention. That concludes the video.